Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Grim Fandango. Last time we left off, we had just left the lovely town of El Maro, as Manny here points out. Ah, El Maro, my hometown. May I never see it again. Thank you for that interjection, Manny. And we had made our way to the Petrified Forest, a place that is an absolute shithole. We've also joined a underground resistance movement against the Department of Death, and taken their secret tunnel, which is how we got here. So, on our epic quest to save Meche, let's go into a petrified forest where we meet our dear old friend Glottis. Glottis, my friend, why are you crying? Betty? Oh, Betty! They fired me! Oh, Glottis. Me too, buddy. You don't understand, Maddie. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw nope. it into the woods. To... Nope, that's not medically recommended at all, Glottis. Nope. Oh, Glottis, what have you done? Oh, Glottis. Oh dear. Now comes the combination of everybody's two favourite horrors, bats and spiders. Na 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 bat spiders. As you can see, they've, um... Oh no. Become... Ooh, ick. Yeah, Shoot. exactly. Exactly. They have become very fond of the old heart. And unfortunately, when we try and get out of here... Well it's attached. Stuck in there, good. Even when we try and get any old scythe and dash it out, this happens. Piece of cake. Yeah, so we think, but then, oh, nightmare Hi, fuel. Chihuahua. Oh, that sound effect. Don't think that's gonna work. Not so much the spiders that bother me, I think it's the bat bit. Alright, what we need to do now is... I guess I could always use a spare. Pick up these bones, take as many as you can. Yeah, it's the bat bit. What's ended up having a bat stuck in the house for two to three days? I'd left the window open during summer, popped out for a bit, came home. There was an effing bat in the living room. So I decided, well, fuck it, I'm just going to close the door and eventually they'll make its way out. No, it might... Stayed behind a TV and had a jolly good time for a couple of days at my I don't expense. need any more. I'm practically made of them. Okay, so what we need to do is get one of these bones. And we put it in here. Right in the web. Soup's on! Huh, they don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. Yeah, these are obviously smarter than regular spiders. Because I thought we're regular spiders, sort of like. And another bone for good measure. Yeah. As soon as you uh, poke the web, they realise and feel the vibrations and come running, thinking that lunch is up. But these guys evidently have realised that I'm just messing with them. However, we can use the bone as a bit of purchase to create a awesome catapult of death. Oh, four spiders. No more demon hard to eat. Okay. See ya. Let us never talk to the demon spiders again, again, uh, ever again. Thanks, lads. Bye. <laughs> All right. Mm. Time for Dr. Manny Calavera, MD, to start the heart transplant. It's still beating. I'm guessing these are meant to be arteries coming out mm. of it, but it does just look like it's covered in wiring. Which I don't think hearts are meant to have wiring. I don't know. My degree wasn't medicine. Heart! Heart is good! Even though it's good to heart! Don't tear out heart! Heart is good! Strong! Beating good heart! Mm -hmm. Is that my car? One track mind, buddy. Ah, back to El Maro. 
Mr. Lamans, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living? That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad. But not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, uh -oh. no! There goes Don Capal. He bites the dust. All the flowers. Oh, <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Oh, my well, favorite. Maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! Oh dear. Sorry. Yeah, I think that was a minor felony. Let's drive off. All the way up here. Now you think. Aha! Standard issue, point and click adventure time. Special. Half a dozen entrances and exits, and when you go through one, you pop out a random hey, location. Wait a second. Oh god, I love the music when you're in the bone wagon. Just take a second to listen. The coolest k kazoo solo ever. So what we need is to find a way of pointing ourselves in the correct direction. Fortunately, Glottis has just pointed that out to us via smacking it with a bloody big car. So it's nice and loosened up for us so we can... Uh, book. Now there's something very special about this sign. Because if you put it down... It goes... And points us in the right direction. Simples! Or at least that's what you think. And to be fair, it's what I thought. This bit, I remember absolutely stomping me. I had to look on the internet to figure out what the hell was going on. Because when we put the sign back down... It goes once again. Points us into a direction, so it's pointing down here. So we go through here. And again, the same happens. The sign isn't actually pointing us where we should go. The sign's pointing us where the sign needs to go. If that makes sense. So it's pointing to the south, and we need to get it just on this little bit of sort of darker earth here. So put it down. And this should. Yep, that rumbling means that you've got the right place. So it needs to go further down. And now it goes. Whoop, 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 and down! Loteri. Yep. I had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh. Da da da! And all we need from here is to get this key. Ah, uh, and now for a spot of poetry. It looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart, bone by bone, and build with you a human throne. Their bucktooth king will sit upon what once was you. But now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Yeah, that sounds uh, enticing. Can't pass up an old creepy key. Pop that away. Oh yeah, in the uh, little FMV that we had there. 
in old El Marrow, we've just seen how they get rid of people in uh, the world of Grim Fandango. They fill you full of flowers. Which is kind of creepy, to be honest. And the big bad guy as well, he's made a show, Hector Liman. <laughs> which I think is spelled like the city. Yeah. Alright, let's get on the bone wagon. And off we go. We have the key, we won't be needing that just yet. What we need to do is go up here. Manny, this is a low riding street rod, not a 4x4. Four four. We don't have the clearance for that kind of road. Uh, more and more problems. So, to solve that, we go the only way we haven't gone yet. We discovered this weird ass contraption. Híjole, mano. What sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. One track mind. Number one, where are we going to get a lawnmower? Do you see any grass within, like, a 200-mile radius of here? Yeah, this thing's fucking weird. I'd climb it myself, but I don't want to take all the fun away from Gladys. This forest sucks the marrow out of everything. Uh. Let's talk to Gladys, see what he thinks. Gladys? What are they doing to that tree? Oh, city he explains boy! What we need to you do. work all day in a 60 story skyscraper, but didn't you ever wonder what it was made of? The marrow of these trees, man. They suck it out. It's like cement. Is that why the town's called El Marro? Huh? Never thought of that. Hmm. This place gives me the creep. I'm ready to go when you are. So yeah, that's a little brief of what this is doing. So when we hit the switch here, Glossus will tell you what we need many. to aim for. With the harmonic balancer turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon. Which Hold would on. get us over that going rocky to mountain. That wheel with some of these that rocky road. That'll shake it down for sure. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. Yeah, unfortunately this isn't working at all. As you can see, the tree's shaking but it's not coming down. Even if we do this. Hey, Benny! What are you doing? Entertaining myself. Outside of the entertainment value, that didn't do what I had hoped. Now we can turn him off. Sorry, Gladys. You okay, bud? Oop, drop my mouse. That was a dirty trick, Manny. Oh, it was an accident. I bumped the switch with my elbow. Oh, okay. So what we need to do is fuck about with these so that it shakes the tree apart. And the best way of doing that is observe said pneumatic pumps. The best way to cut off the air using the barrow. And here's a tip. This is where the old keyboard controls come in useful. Don't bother with the mouse. When we slide the wheel over one of these, it shuts off the pump. And what we need to do is getting both sides shaking against each other. Yep. Okay, that's that side done. That's left perfect. Shit. Oh, 
Okay. Left side. Now back to normal. Right side. There we go. That's what we want. We want them sort of both start together on one side, going in tandem against each other. That's really shaking it apart. Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Well, despite the efforts, got it's now, still no, not going to be good enough. Business this time, Calavera. Sorry, buddy. Just go abuse you a bit more. Manny, you promise? My bad, buddy. And here it goes. Manny, until now we scraped along the ground like rats, but from now on we soar like eagles. <laughs> Like eagles on pogo sticks. Pogo sticks. Oh, I love that line. What a relief. I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in, or are you afraid of heights? Oh, yeah. Right. So that means we can get up here. Go, go, pogo car. Yeah. You know that poem which was basically talking about how you're gonna fucking die? Here we find Manny, what it's about. What are you doing? Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny! They'll make you into a dam! Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny! They don't use wood. No, they use a completely different substance. Oh dear. Well, this is horrifying. Hey! Thank God you can't die in LucasArts games. So what we need to do is go down here. Fortunately, we are already armed with the single greatest weapon against flaming be beavers. A chemical fire extinguisher. And, if you listened to me earlier, we'd have picked up lots of bait. So what we need to do is deploy the bone. This will draw out the beaver. And usually you've got to wait, sort of... Yeah, just at the end of his roar. And that's minus one. Two more to go. Try and get him to press the button as he finishes roaring, just before he starts to jump. If you do that, you'll miss, and then eventually you will have to go back and get more bones. I do believe there's a way of getting more bones somewhere around here, but... To be honest, I haven't looked. Minus two! Okay, my dear friend, you're the last of your kind. Three, two, one... Yes! A hat trick of beaver death. Now all we do... Is come out here. There's a padlock here. If you remember, we had previously got a creepy key. Stick it in padlock and boom, ladies and gentlemen. Huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. We are done with the petrified forest. I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. You're dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, Manny. You big old softy. Miss 
Kolomar! We're here to save you! Hey, subtle lay off the racket the whole town's asleep. But I want a drag race! When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town! Hit. You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mech is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. God damn it, Glottis. Don't do that, you're gonna use up all the compressed air. I think those things can run out of compressed air, I'm gonna guess so. Never seen them personally. Right, we're going to this lovely little diner. Kinda of cool looking, like, really like the mosaic. Again, with the bloody Art Deco motifs. It's like one of my favourite styles, Art Deco, Art Nouveau. And it's one of those cool little automat things. All these doors have numbers and pictures of food on them. What's number 22? Lengua. Wow. It's been a long time since I had a tongue. Yeah. It's one of those automat things. Like, they were big during the early half of the 20th century. Supposedly they're making, like, some kind of hipster comeback these days. Like, there's a couple of them opened up in New York and London. I, I have to check it out. One of the reasons why it's taken me so bloody long to upload everything and... There was like a one month gap. It is because I've just moved down to London town, so. Yeah, I'm gonna see if there's one of these things around. Spending most of my time drinking a video game cafe when I'm not applying for the army. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Anyway, here we have a good old friend of ours. This guy looks familiar. Exactly, that's because my friend is Mr. Mr. Flores. Flores. I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Si. Didn't you used to be taller? No, yeah, maybe. So what are you doing here, Flores? What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava, so I came here to wait for her. Yeah, fair enough. You must love her very much, Celso. You must love her very much, Celso. Yes, this is true. Of course she also has all of my money. Yeah, no dinero, no fun. So, how do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. Eh, I'll help you find your wife. What did she I'll look like? I'll help you find your wife? What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? Ah, reminiscing. So, no good place to stay in town? So, no a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Mierda, no. <laughs> Can you get me a job here? Can you here? get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales? Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. Anyway, uh, what happened to my walking stick, the Excelsior line? I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. Was it a bat spider? Don't blame you, man. You seen, uh, Mercedes Colomar? I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone. So I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. Well, see you later, man. Well, we've run out of people to talk to, so what we need to do is... Go down here, where we will meet with an unfortunate <coughs> accident. Ooh. You gotta watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicabe ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, hell, looks like there's a new vessel in town. 
Pardon Are you me while I go check her out. Manny, stop shivering. You don't have any skin or nerve endings to receive signals that you're cold. Yeah. For, like, for Rubicar, the Town Planning Council or Commission, whatever the hell they are, has a lot to answer for. Because up here there is like a destroyed and shattered bridge. Like this bit, this section, fair enough, that's being held up by this pillar. But here, that's just a health hazard. And over here, there's like a fucking 60 foot drop into well, some actually, water. Well, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be Let's glass packs? This man, this man is old turbos. Captain Velasco. There was this one high-pitched whine it was making. Really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? Dun, you dun, folks dun. gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? Uh, actually, we're just looking for someone. We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks or a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> That's something to remember. He's bad with names, but he can remember faces, seeing as he's asking for distinguishing marks. Any work in town? I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> Are you telling me I don't have an affinity for left-wing politics? How do we get around with all the mist? How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? What is under the eye patch? Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well. When I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that's when I saw solid. it used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny! We were in the middle of a conversation here! Hey, hey, okay! Jesus. Glottis, you'd get pissy when I interrupt your car talk. Anyway, so... It's Celso's wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. Hmm. Not a pleasant lady. Show it Ever seen Lesko. this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. How do you know you? she wasn't alone? I don't believe it. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the well, bar myself. Know what she did with hey, all of Celso's money. We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, Glossy. Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't make me talk about her, because I. I just can't do it. As in Don Quixote of La Mancha. Okay. So with that, we are practically done with year one. I'm going to put leave it here. Due to the fact that a somewhat lengthy cutscene is about to start. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. Hope to catch you next time. This is Jabbering Magpie, signing out. Adios.